Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. How is everybody? I hope that you are all doing amazing on this beautiful day. Let's see if I can get some some good light here. Good light. Not that it really matters. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, so I had to skip a couple steps ahead because, yeah, yeah. Okay, let me back up. Welcome, welcome to Bare Bones Kitchen. Monday morsels in Bare Bones Kitchen. I almost forgot to say that. Cheers. I am your culinary coach, Harmony. I am rocking a Bud Light Lime tonight. Why? Because yesterday I, Saturday, I bought some for my sister's house and they tasted really delicious. And then yesterday I went up to the store to get Blue Moon and they were flat out. There was like four and a half feet of empty cooler space in that beer cooler. So it must have been kind of a warm day. There was nothing, so I had to get some more Bud Light Lime, and I was okay with it, because they, they actually taste pretty decent. Not usually my, my typical jam, but it's all good. It's all gravy, baby. It's cool. It's delicious, so nice and refreshing. How is everybody doing this evening? I hope that you are all well. All right, so if you know me, you know there are a handful of pleasures that I have in life, okay? One of them happens to be the l and Hawaiian barbecue place that's local here. Um, actually, I don't even know that they're local. I think they're, you know, maybe all over the place. But I love it. So I have in my crock pot, crock pots are an amazing way to be able to cook stuff when it's kind of hot outside, you guys. Or your Instapot. I don't have an Instapot, so I use my little crock pot. I had some uh, pork shoulder picnic roast or something. I don't know. I threw in a can of green chilies and some salt and pepper and cumin and chili powder and, you know, my trifecta. That's how I rolled with that. And then in order to get Zane to eat anything, I made some cabbage with bacon and onions. And I think I've done that before on the show. So I'm not going to bore you with all those details. But what was missing was the Hawaiian Mac salad. Now, I have been to Hawaii a couple of times, and you guys, I should just, every time I go, I should just eat like a five-gallon bucket of this stuff because, ugh, it's my favorite. I swear, though, that I remember the first time I ate it, it had potatoes in it, but I could be completely delirious at this point. It's an absolute possibility. So I'm going to try my best to rock a Hawaiian Mac salad. I have looked up recipes for this a few times, and the biggest thing that I notice is you have to have Best Foods slash Hellman's mayonnaise, depending on where you live. I'm from the West Coast, so it has to be Best Foods. If you are from, I don't even know where, the Midwest to the East Coast, it's Hellman's. I'm not really sure how they broke that down, but that's what you have to have. So if you don't have Hellman's or Best Foods, you better go get some. Okay, so I have one pound of macaroni noodles. I added two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. And then I cheated a little bit and did some shredded carrots, some pre-shredded carrots. If not, just do a couple carrots, guys. It's that easy. After my noodles were all cooked, I threw them in my little strainer and then immediately added this and immediately added this. If you're somebody who puts onions in your mac salad, add them then. And then it went into the refrigerator, okay? It's been sitting in the refrigerator for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. So then you kind of get this little bit of a, they're kind of sticky. This is why I don't like to do that. But you know what? I'm following the process, following the process. So I have my one pound of noodles my two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, my about two carrots worth of shredded carrots, and I'm gonna put this stuff over here so it's out of my way. Because then we're gonna move on to the, actually I'm gonna move this too. We're gonna move on to the salad dressing, okay? Two and a half-ish cups of uh, your Hellman's or your best foods, all right? Then I've got two teaspoons of sugar. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a, um, hi Karen, like a coleslaw dressing. And then a quarter cup of milk, but it's going to be a little bit thicker than that. Hello Brenda, you're not sleeping, you're so sweet. 
All right, so we're just gonna mix this together. So we've chilled our noodles. So when you're done and you've drained your noodles and you've added your two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and your carrots, and if you prefer your onions as well, you're gonna let it sit in the refrigerator for like 15 minutes until it cools down. That's really why I like to use these bowls because they cool a little bit quicker. If you don't have them though, it's okay. Just cool it a little bit longer if you're worried about it. Because you definitely don't want to put mayonnaise on top of hot noodles. That's not a good, that's not a good thing. So we're getting this nice thick mixture because only a quarter cup of milk to your two and a half cups of, of best foods slash Hellman's, your two teaspoons of sugar. I have had people that have made me Hawaiian Mac salad and put peas in it. And yeah, I won't even go there, you guys. I won't even go there because I'm not a fan of peas. I love a fresh pea. I am not, do not give me canned peas. Do not give me frozen peas. Do not give me plain old pea. Like, bleh. Yeah, I'll do pea pods. Pea pods. That's what I'll do. All right, so now we're just going to mix this into this. Mix this into this because that made a lot of sense, right? And how are you, Miss Karen and Miss Brenda? I'm glad you're not sleeping, though you need your rest, Missy Pooh. All right, so I'm doing a catering next month for my amazing friend, Wonderful, and she actually asked for this salad, so I thought, ooh, I better give it a whirl, because I... I don't know, man. There's just something about having mac salad in Hawaii. Maybe it's just because it's the ambiance of the whole thing. I don't know, but I just can't seem to get it right. So we're going to see. We're going to see what happens. All right, I'm going to rock out with some pepper here. And it's always going to be to taste. Your salt and pepper is always going to be what you like. And the lucky thing for me is I know Zane's not going to eat this. Either way, so five gallon bucket. Okay, maybe just a pound. Just a whole pound box of, of noodles, which is way more than a pound of salad, okay? I feel my ass getting bigger as we're standing here. Do my salt, a little bit more. And just remember that this mayo and the this little dressing situation we got going here is gonna soak up into those noodles. So of course, the longer you keep it in your fridge, it's gonna soak up a little bit more and you may have to thin it out some with a little bit more milk. And again, I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but if you guys try it, always show me a picture. Let me know how it worked for you. And remember, YouTube is all up to date. If you guys didn't see that, I sat down and forced myself to do it the other day. I know I promised it to you last Thursday, but my internet was being crazy, so, and I didn't have time to do it on Friday, so I did it Saturday. Got all of the YouTube up to date. And while you're all here, let me know, hmm, let's see, let me know, what is your favorite color? What is your favorite color? Hi, Steffi. Let me know what your favorite color is. I don't know, because it just seems fun. My favorite color is purple. It's been purple my whole entire life, except when I found out that my birthstone was not purple, it was blue. Then my favorite color was blue for a short period of time, and then I went back to purple. Purple is my favorite. I don't know, guys, this looks awfully delicious. I might actually have a success story here. We're just making sure everything's all nice and mixed up. Because again, if you've been in Hawaii and you've had the mac salad, there's just something about it, you guys. It's got like this delicious thickness and I don't know. I just, I can't even, I can't even wrap my head around it. So this might be like an L&L &L situation. I don't really know because I haven't tasted it yet, but it also needs to sit in the refrigerator for a couple hours. So I'm still gonna dish some up when I'm done here along with my pork and 
my cabbage because that's totally what I get at L and L. The pork and the cabbage, along with my side of mac salad, because duh, why wouldn't I? Why wouldn't I? That's what I have for you tonight, you guys. All right, so we got YouTube all up to date. If you are interested in any Bare Bones Kitchen merchandise, please let me know. I do have lots of t-shirts still available. I do have a few mugs available. I don't know how many because it's been a hot minute since I've looked. Um, if you do the two of them together, it's $35. Um, let's see. What else do I have for you? We will have Suck It Up Saturday this weekend, but I'm going to re-announce that again on Wednesday. So I will see you all on Wednesday. Do I know what I'm making yet? No, because first of all, I don't know what the freaking weather's going to look like outside. And I just stopped looking at the weather on my phone because it always lies. It, it's a liar. It's like, oh, 90 degrees as I wake up in layers and freezing my toshi off. So I just stopped looking. It's a liar. Um, That's what I have. That's what I have. Thanks for joining me for Monday Morsels. Y'all keep showing up. So do I. And I appreciate it. Keep sharing the love. Push these videos out as much as you can. And I have added some stuff to my TikTok in case you're interested. So it's just boring stuff right now. But I haven't decided what I want to do with that yet. I haven't decided. Because I don't have enough followers yet in order to do anything live. Otherwise, I would just go live just like I do with you guys twice a week. Or three times a week, depending on what week it is. So that's what I have for you. Thanks for showing up, guys. Cheers. Well, I better take a drink, huh? See you all on Wednesday.